Hello everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, if you want to learn coding, then what you will search how to learn to code, the best way to learn coding, what I should do to be a good coder, yeah that is important, but what you should not do that is really important. You have that awareness what you should not do if you are a beginner in coding. That exactly I am going to discuss in this video what you should not do as a beginner right in coding. First thing that is very important that don't think you can learn coding in just one month or two months or three months. No, you cannot learn coding quickly. Yeah, I know you want to learn any skill or coding or any skill very quickly. It's not that you can learn any you know the skill the coding skill in just 21 days no it needs time practice even years of practice to be good in coding first thing right that is very important so keep this thing in your mind that you cannot learn coding quickly right you have to be patient you have to keep patience you have to be you know calm you have to be focused right Second thing is what obviously if you want to write down some, co some code you need a programming language. So what students do at starting? They will search which programming language is best, which programming language I should learn first, which programming language is having higher score or which programming language I should learn first so that I can, good, I can get a good package. No, you just waste your time as a beginner you waste your time searching these kind of questions. No, just pick any language and start writing code. There is no shortcut writing more and more code will ultimately lead to a good coder right. So stop wasting your time in these type of questions just pick a language because see all the central concept in any programming language are same in all programming language are same right. Only some syntax are different and if you master any one language then you can easily switch to any other language you can easily grab the second language you have to master just one language one programming language right so pick one programming language and start writing code rather than wasting your time searching which programming language is best to learn first right see because it's not a big deal which programming language you learn first once you pick a language at least you learn the basic concept the central concepts of programming right you will learn how to write down logic, how to you know uh, divide the complex problem into smaller problems like how to define function, how to uh, you know declare, declare variables these kind of things right. Main, main important thing is you have to focus on writing logics, you have to increase your capability of logical thinking, how to you know write down the logic, how to think the logic of that problem. If you are able to think the logic you can write down that thing in any programming language right and if you are good in any one programming language then you can easily switch to any other programming language. It would be very easy for you to grab the second programming language right. So just pick one language and start writing code that is it. Next is don't memorize while you are writing codes. Don't study like uh, you have to study for a test, no just practice don't you know memorize the syntax like uh, I have to write down hash include like this I have to write down printf this is the syntax scan if this is the syntax no start practicing whenever you have done practice like you have written 5 10 15 20 programs you will automatically you know grab those things you don't have to memorize the syntax you just have to focus on what how to think the logic that that's it and just practice and write more and more code right. So don't focus on memorizing the syntax, memorizing the things, don't just do that ratification type of thing especially in case of coding if you want to learn coding right. Next is don't just copy and paste others code, see maybe you are writing any program and uh, uh, there is some error in your program. So maybe you want help so it's okay you can google out that thing you can see the others code but just no don't just copy and paste others code and okay it will run successfully that's it I have done that thing no what you have to do rather than copying and pasting what you have to do you have to figure out what is the mistake in your code right and you have to do the correction in your code yeah you can 
see others code you can take hints from others code but don't just directly copy and paste that code what you have to do you have to figure out what is the mistake in your code that is very 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 important Figure out, figuring out the mistakes in your code the error message the read error messages and find out what is this kind of error where is this error how i can correct this error that is very very important skill right because if you are a beginner or even you have started coding and it's been one month two month or three months but still students are not able to you know read out the error messages still students are not able to find out by looking at that error message like what is this error i'm not getting what if this is the error message then where can this error be what this error be what this error can be they are not able to figure out the error message that is also very important and that comes with experience right so read those error messages okay it's fine take it in a positive way if you are getting many error messages take it in a positive way read those error messages find out yeah if this is the error message okay i have missed a semicolon here or maybe i have written down, written down some you know uh, wrong syntax or printf syntax is wrong or i have forgotten to write down address of operator in scan scanf by reading that message try to find out that is also very 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 important for beginners right and next is don't be totally dependent on your college or any institute right to learn coding they will not teach you coding to learn coding you have to be a self learner right these mistake many students to beginners to actually they totally depend on the college like okay in a college only we have c so we we'll learn this programming language and we'll learn how to code no they will not teach you coding they will not teach you how to code they'll just complete it as a course right a separate video i have you know uploaded on this point in detailed manner or if you have joined any coaching institute you just totally dependent in that coaching institute to learn coding no 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 you have to be a self learner if you really want to be a good coder right you have to find out your own resources you have to you know increase your logical thinking capability they will not teach you how to think they'll just complete it as a course right they, they obviously they have some time limit also they are in college or in you know coaching institute you cannot practice many questions right there would be some time limit so you have to pre and practice is the only key if you want to be good in coding writing more and more code is very important if you want to learn coding so that can be done at your home only right by yourself you can do you have to be a self learner for this thing so i think that's it from my side what you should not do if you think that i have missed out some point and that is very important you can just write down those in the comment box so that others can get help from your comment right so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care